such a good movie. Yet there's a way you can combine both my loves and these movies. Video games. This video is from the Retro Liberty Archives with new edits and live shots. Number 5. The Lion King As someone who is busy all the time in life, I really appreciate that you can just pick up this game and play it at any time and anywhere. It really is the perfect video game for the casual gamer. The Lion King for Sega Genesis and Super NES systems. The game and system sold separately. The sprites and backgrounds were drawn by Disney animators themselves at a Walt Disney feature animation, and the music was adapted from songs from the original soundtrack, which is always nice. The Genesis version of the game does not have background vocals unlike the SNES version. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. I'll be honest, the songs make me happy, but aren't the best sounding all in all. They just seem to fall kind of flat and don't excite me the way I felt they would. This game follows the storyline of the Lion King pretty well, and you do pretty much every single thing you would expect to do in a Lion King video game. Bounce on animals, eat bugs, work on your roar. <clears throat> and even run through a Mode 7 stampede, which is actually pretty legit looking. And yes, you kill Scar. Spoiler, he dies. All I would say this one got put more on the list for nostalgic reasons, and I apologize for that. But the game did sell really well just in the US alone. Lion King sold 1.27 million copies. Number 4 Goof Troop. The story for Goof Troop is like this. Goofy and Max were out fishing with Big Pete and PJ, when suddenly, a shadow was cast upon them and were taken away by deadly pirates. And basically, Goofy and Max set off to save them. Goof Troop, más magia Disney para tu Super Nintendo. Con el super simpático Goofy y su sobrino como protagonistas de una emocionante aventura en una isla misteriosa. What makes Goof Troop really special is that they offer co-op in the video game. Now, not a lot of Disney Super Nintendo games were offering this option, so if you have friends, it makes the game darn awesome. This game is played from a top-down view, so it is also different than the expected side-scrolling platformer genre you would expect. The goal of each level is to solve various puzzles in order to reach the end of each stage and defeat the many bosses. Throughout the game, players can find various collectibles that can aid them. For example, collecting pieces of fruit can protect Max or Goofy from a single hit. Here's the interesting thing about Goof Troop. This video game would become the first to have actually been designed by Shinji Mikami, who would later be known as the father of the survival horror video game genre. He developed the Resident Evil series later in his career. Many of the survival elements that would appear in Mikami's later games would first appear in Goof Troop. Number 3. Disney's Magical Quest Out of all of the Disney games we have chosen today, the Magical Quest has by far the most Disney feel to it. Fun, adventure, a feeling of story, and lighthearted fun. The graphics and music are everything you could hope for in a Disney game. The colors are bright, the video game feels full of life and full of character. This speaks really well to Disney and represents them perfectly. 
The way the game works is that Mickey can wear four different types of outfits in the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. Some outfits can be upgraded in the general stores found scattered throughout the game. Each outfit does something really special and unique, which adds a lot of layers of enjoyment to the gameplay here. He has outfits like the traditional clothing that he normally wears, a firefighter uniform, mountain climbing gear, and a magician uniform. The best outfit is the mountain climber gear, besides from Mickey looking really cool, and fashion is important. This grappling hook is really important to getting you through the different levels and traversing you through the different worlds in this game. I don't remember Capcom sounding like that. Most reviewers praise the details and colorfulness of the graphics and the animations in the game. Some reviewers even calling it some of the best graphics on the system to date. Especially the bosses and backgrounds were noticed for their graphical appearance. Shadow. Long story short for this one, I remember playing this game as a kid and I felt pretty tough, I felt pretty cool, but while playing a Disney game and that wasn't something I was used to. Donald Duck has always felt a little bit more on the dark side of Disney, a little bit more of a harsh character and personally, I really appreciate that. No one but Donald Duck. The game in general is your run of the mill platformer, but everything is done really well. The backgrounds all seem to be living. Donald's animations all flow super well. And like I said before, Donald feels just kind of cool. I mean, you have a gun and you can also on the fly basically become a ninja. <laughs> This game was developed by Disney Interactive and released in the wonderful year of 1996. If you have not played this game yet, I highly, highly recommend you get your hands on the game and enjoy. If you are a novice gamer, I'm gonna say you're gonna get about two to three hours out of this video game. Una de las aventuras más espectaculares de Super Nintendo. Number one, Aladdin. This being my favorite Disney movie of all time may have played a big part in this choice, but not really. Aladdin for the SNES is the definition of great SNES platforming. The game is nearly a parkour simulation with wonderful 16-bit sprites burning into your eye sockets. Aladdin performs exactly like you would expect him to from the movies. He's an agile street rat. He's fluid. He's flexible. He feels parkour. It is a perfect fit going from movie to video game. Most of the game is pretty easy, but you will find yourself having a hard time the first few times you try and escape the lava level on your magic carpet. Well, at least I know I did. The surroundings in the game are actually pretty dark throughout the game. Well, that's minus the genie error level, but you will never seem to get bothered or bored with any dreariness as this game has a beautifully majestic soundtrack to keep you entertained and hypnotized with its mystery. Out of all these games, Aladdin easily locks itself into this spot as the number one Disney Super Nintendo game of all time. so much for watching make sure to follow us on facebook instagram and twitter at superhero game squad on twitter at superhero game sq let me know down in the comments below what are your favorite disney super nintendo games there are some other fun ones that i personally love but i want to know your guys so let me know that's it thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys next time have a great day